beautiful blue skies outside so we might go on a little bit of a walk this morning maybe before Tom starts chefing in the kitchen this is our first ever Christmas 
together ever in six years of knowing you. Six years of being with you. Yeah, well, I'm oh, stop. I still don't like you. <laughs> um, so we just opened Prezzi's. And yeah, we th I think we might go for a little bit of a walk. Obviously this year's a little bit different. So we FaceTimed our families this year, which is strange. I I've got a lot of presents here to give to my family. So at some point we'll do some kind of a gift swap because they've got my presents as well. Tom made me a lovely Christmas morning apple and cinnamon tea. And we've actually been working our way through all of the Harry Potter movies, which has been fun. And we've only got one left to go. So do we think this is going to be a Christmas day viewing or a boxing day? No, let's do it today. Today? The last Harry Potter movie. Should we wait till the dark because we won't see half of it. Yeah, that's true. When when it's like the Deathly Hallows part and it, a lot of it's outdoors at night, it was really hard to watch on TV, wasn't it? So we'll um, maybe watch it later on this evening. That could be our evening Christmas watch, but then there's good TV on Christmas Day. So I thought I would show you a couple of prezzies that I've got. I got this for Tom, which is kind of, I suppose the main presents I got for Tom <laughs> are for both of us because I'll definitely take enjoyment in building this with him. And then also I got him this Theragun Money, which is like a massage gun. Um, and again, I'm sure we'll both like that. Got him some 19 crimes, a couple of other little bits, some keels, cards against humanity we got from his mum, which I'm actually so excited to play. So that was a great gift. And then we also got these puzzles to do. So I might actually do one of these today with me and Tom on, which is so funny. Oh, and then she also got me this, which I had no idea she was getting me, from Chanel. She has bought me a little compact mirror and a little highlight brush that you can just pop in your bag, which I thought was perfect. So thank you so much to Tom's mum. Some chocolates, some other games and bits. And then some more bits over here as well. We've got, oh, I'm so excited. I might actually try these on. These are my Christmas night pyjamas, I reckon, from Tom. He's bought me some white company Christmas, not Christmas PJs, just grey PJs, which I'm so excited to wear. I actually have a massive Zara order, which I put in and was meant to be for last Wednesday's video, but it didn't arrive in time. So I think what I'll do is I'll do some kind of a on unboxing within this video. So I'll show you everything and do a bit of a Zara, Zara home unboxing. Um, but Bista Village, who I'm nowhere near, so can never go to and get the discounts from, the White Company, one of the shops that actually you can basically email them and they can send you pictures of what's in store and you could just pay for it over the phone and they send it out and it literally arrived next day so super quick they sent the bag and the packing and everything this is the christmas tissue paper because it's got merry christmas on it and i ordered myself one of the mistletoe candles in the large size i didn't even know mistletoe was a scent from the white company but it's cedar spruce and amber and it's i think it's four wick this one so i don't know whether to save this for next year or burn it today i think save it we'll see i think they are usually about 60 pounds and i got it for 40. oh in fact i'll show you these bits which a brand sent me which were beautifully wrapped so i thought i would save them for christmas morning and this is the first thing which is like a dupe for one of those designer vases with the like female figure. So, oh, hello, Echo. So I thought that was really pretty and it's in white. And I think with some dried pampas leaves or something that would be beautiful. So this is from a company called at Lunaria Home London. Um, and she also sent a couple of other little bits which I had no idea was coming. So thank you so much. I think these are cushion covers. So this is the first one and it's like a kind of woven tassel design in this beautiful linen-y kind of fabric. Cute. And then also uh, there's two more in here with like a linen fabric and a kind of hessian trim which I think is really pretty. So yeah, thank you so much for sending me those. That was a nice little bonus Christmas prezzy to open today. I think we're going to 
get dressed, have a lovely walk, get back into uh, some cozy clothes. I've actually laid out some clothes that I'm gonna put on. You right there? Yeah. You're just taking a picture of my vase? Yeah, I'm just taking a picture. Which vase. side did you take a picture of? Well. I hope you all had a lovely day despite the circumstances. It's a bit different for everyone this year, but sending you all the Christmas love nonetheless. No. All wrapped up, ready to go on our nice long walk. Got my new Primark hat on and Tom just made one of these for the road. I say for the road, but you know, for the walk. This um, is one of the little stocking fillers that I got for him. It's a new Nespresso, but it's their like Christmas edition for 2020. I think they had a couple of different ones, but this was the only one that they had in stores when I went to pick one up. So, can I try it? Yeah. Oh. It's freshly brewed coffee, oh. what do you expect? I always put milk in mine. Jesus. <gasps> Ouch! My left actually. Oh, yeah. These have been sat in the sun so they're nice and warm. Just check the spiders. Oh! Oh, it's dancing. You have to help me get these off by the end of this walk. Ta-da! Ready to go. Okay, Christmas day attire. This is my second change now. I actually woke up and wore these PJs last night. These are the M&S ones that I featured in a Black Friday haul. Super, super soft. I've been saving them for Christmas Eve, so I wore those last night. Then I got into just some casual walking gear. And then this is what I'm gonna wear for the rest of the day. Obviously, we're not planning on doing anything, going anywhere really. So I've got some nice cozy socks and slippers. These are from Tesco's and also Primark, I think these are. Um, as are these, nice little underwear set. This ribbed knit is so soft. And again, I've been saving this set for Christmas Day. And then this set, oh my god, again, Primark. Um it's from the wellness range, I think, and it's the sustainable fibers. They're basically like wide leg pants, so soft, so I'm gonna wear them, and it comes with a matching top, but because it's quite a kind of scoop neck, long sleeve top, I thought I would get a nice cozy cardigan to throw on top, like a big dressing gown. And this is from Pretty Lavish in a medium to large. Tom is just in the shower post walk, so I'm gonna jump in after him. Get these nice cozy clothes on. He's gonna start cooking, and then I'll share with you the bits that I got from Zara. All right, let's get into the Zara bit. First thing that I got is a coat. Like just a good staple. These ones were only $29.99. They had loads of colours. So I got a medium in this one. Um, I'm tempted to kind of maybe send this one back and size up in it though. Because it does seem quite snug. Especially on the arms if I'm going to layer. Oh in fact I've forgotten to give these to Tom. He has seen them and he does like them. But I got him these as like a bonus sort of Christmas present. Just didn't wrap them up. Because I wasn't sure. I was like oh. Will he like them, will he not? But they're a shoe, like a sneaker style trainer with this like beige stripe on, which I really like. And they're kind of in the Gucci style of the fold down, so you can just slip them on. And they're only 19.99 as well, so I got them for him. And then for myself, I got this black loungewear set. The bottoms are like a jogger style. They're only 17.99 and they are super, super soft. They're cuffed at the bottom as well. And just, I thought this would be a really nice maybe boxing day outfit, who knows? Got plenty of loungewear to wear now. And then this is the matching top that comes with it. I kind of wish I'd sized up in the, well, I did size up in the top to a large. And that's the biggest they do. They only do small, medium and large. So it's a bit more of a smaller fit, I would say, for a large. And then the last clothing item that I got is just this plain, basic, oversized hoodie. Great for like walks. I mean, I have 
quite a collection now of like hoodies, sweatshirts, joggers, especially the top halves. I wear a lot to like with maybe leggings on long walks. So I'm always in need of more and I really want to in the new year get into doing more long walks. So um, yeah, this is in like a lovely kind of sage green color. This one was $15.99 and I got it in a large. I actually ordered another one of these discovery sets, the Zara perfume sets. At $15.99, I just think these make great gift ideas, but also just a really nice option to be able to use one of these tester sample perfumes and throw it in your bag and have it like on the go. So Amalfi Sunray is one of my favorite. These are like the Jo Malone collaboration that she did with Zara. I did actually get two sets of more things from the Amalfi Sunray. So this set includes, I think it's like a full size and a mini of the fragrance. $29.99, the fact that it's black as well, I feel like this would make a good gift for a guy. I know Christmas has been and gone by the time you're watching this, but um, yeah, oh, love that. They look so smart as well. $15.99. I picked up the candle as well, because why not? I have actually had the Amalfi Sunray candle before in the white version. I honestly, I just love this scent so, so much. Right, now moving on to the big box. Here she comes. No idea how this got so lost in transit, but it literally took ages. I had to actually speak to customer services to try and get them to find where it had gone. So I actually got a lot of bits with the intention of gifting, but obviously because it came after Christmas, that can't really happen. I suppose I could give late Christmas gifts out. Um, a couple of things for myself as well, and a couple of things to um, kind of get, get me in check for the new year with some nice new stationery. So I just got a whole mixture of things. Yes, this is perfect size. So this is like a little waste paper basket, which you could use as a waste paper basket, but you could also use just like as a little throw kind of basket to put little throw cushions in, uh, towels in a bathroom maybe. And then here's some of like the stationery bits that I was talking to you about. The first set is actually a set of three notebooks. I love the color of them. You've got a black one, a kind of neutral colored one, and then also a white. These were $9.99 for a set of three. Nice and simple, and you can even put on the lined bit at the front what the notebooks are for. And then I also got this set, which I thought would make a good gift actually. And it's a correspondence set is what it's called. So this was in 1999 and that's how it comes. It comes in like a little box. Be good to send out some post Christmas thank yous in. The little black tab here, you just lift that up to reveal a little stationery set. So you've got some cards in there, some white plain cards and also envelopes. So just a nice kind of backup thing to have. I love having sort of like a stationary section with like spare gift cards and everything in. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Oh, this is why. It's a doorstop. So I saw this and our current front door keeps on opening, which is fine because it like self closes when we want to keep the warmth in. But if we're wanting to keep it open, I thought I, I don't know, I just loved the look of this doorstop. It's nice and simple. It's like a linen bag style thing. Can you hear the music? I'm going to get Tom to turn it down. Back to, oh yay, just in time for Christmas. I got one of these Christmas tree shaped bowls. They do stars and they do them in other colours as well. But I obviously just went for the plain clear ones with gold rim. Oh, love the aesthetic of this. This is a home spray in the scent Absolute Linen. The box itself is beautiful, but the packaging, I remember the actual bottle, would look beautiful actually on display. It's simply cream in color with Absolute Linen on the front. How nice does that look? Smells good too, but it just, like nice glass bottle, that on the side in a spare bedroom. I just think it looks so nice. It looks like a bottle of perfume. It looks so nice. I love that. More stationery by the looks of things. They come in all this like brown craft paper. I love that. 
So this one is a weekly planner. Getting all organized. It's actually probably quite good and fitting that I've shown these at this time. So if you want to get your hands on any of these for the new year, if you want to get organized, then there's nothing more motivational than new stationery if you're wanting to get organized. So $7.99 and this is what the actual weekly planner looks like. Oh, just hit myself in the face. And then each week is the same. So that is the principle of what you get every week. This one is a 2021 diary. So nice, it's nice and thick and chunky. And actually it goes really well with the weekly planner. This is what the actual diary looks like. If it can focus, if I just show you. It is, it's a, oh, it's a day a page as well. A page a day, rather. There you go. Love that font, it's so nice. Oh my God, this is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I'm thinking future utility room, having everything aesthetically pleasing. This is a fabric water in the white jasmine scent that they do. White jasmine isn't my favorite scent that they do, but it is nice and it's more feminine than I typically go for. But this is basically ironing water spray, which helps achieve easier ironing while infusing your clothes with the scent of white jasmine. How nice is that? I love the fact that they do like home, like laundry type things as well. Ooh, yes. This would have come in handy for this box. It is, <laughs> looks kind of medieval. It's a letter opener with a nice chunky wooden handle. I feel like Tom would like this in his office actually. Um, yeah, how nice is that? Love that. And then in here we have, Oh yes, I saw that they do these um, staplers and also they do things like uh, rubbers, little erasers. So this one is only $1.99, little Zara Home. It actually has Zara Home in black written on the rubber itself. And then this little stapler, nice little posh stapler. So to have a really nice stationery as well. I can see the vision. I literally have no recollection of ordering this. It's nice, but I don't remember ordering it. It's a bowl. <laughs> this feels like another spray of, some oh yes, okay. Just a top up and to have by the front door a little Zara Home hand cleanser gel. Love the aesthetic of this one again. This one is in Poetic Mind, so it smells really good. What else have we got in here? Another home product, this one is one of their fabric sprays, good for curtains, bedding, linen, hung up washing, that kind of thing in your wardrobe. This one is in a scent I've never tried before and it sounded right up my street. So it's in the scent Eucalyptus, which has notes of basil, eucalyptus and musk. So I think I'm gonna love that. Is this another stationary item? Oh, this is a box of staples for my new gold stapler. I was just gonna get standard staples, but now I wasn't sure if it required like a specific size. I think I've got three things left and all three things are candles, so let me get them out. So I got two, I think, of these ones. Yeah, I did. I got two of these. I thought they'd look really nice side by side. This is from the Signature Collection. How nice is this packaging? Um, this is an aromatic pillar candle. But that box, I love that. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, so it comes with a little dish that you stand it on. Little black dish it comes with and it's got like a little Zara Home stamp on it that you just pop it on there and it is just a plain, simple pillar candle. How pretty is that? And then last but not least, I got this candle. Again, I love the aesthetic of it. I thought it looked so nice. Great gift idea for someone and they're just something a bit different to your sort of standard candle brands and less expensive as well than the like white company and Jo Malone types. This is in the scent Lapsang Tea, which is from the mountains of Fujian in China. And it's in like a black kind of tin. Look at that branding. How smart is that? That in like a men's office, like like I said, in Tom's office would look so nice. I think I'm actually gonna keep that boxed up and maybe even gift it to him for his birthday because he might, by then, we might be nearing ready of finishing renovating the upstairs 
or at least well underway. I'm hoping by then anyway, this is March I'm talking. It's a nice little unboxing. I feel like I've just got presents surrounding me now. Let's go see Tom. Can you hear him? He sounds like he's having fun anyway. He loves cooking, so I'm just leaving it to him. It does mean that I have to do all the cleaning up though. <gasps> How are we getting on? <gasps> Sprouts are out. A lot of butter. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is for your... My? Um, Massive pigs in, pigs in blankets. Oh, I have to show you this that we're gonna have maybe tonight for our dinner. We got some baked camembert. So excited for that. We've got some chutneys as well. We've got some cheeses. This is Tommy's fave. He always likes a borsan in there. And then we've already had a bit of this one, but that one's my favorite. Really like that. Any other Christmassy bits? Oh, I got these to like just throw in the oven as little nibbles. Vegetable arancini bites. Yum. Oh, you're doing broccoli cheese? No. Cheese. No? Yeah. yeah. Nice. So Tom's just said, do you want to see it all prepped and ready? I didn't realise it was going to be on the washing machine. <laughs> and so what's this pan for? Sprouts. Oh, nice. Garlic and bacon sprouts. I filled up our Christmas treat bowl with some lints. And I've also brought in here to start this jigsaw, which I think is so funny. Got my fave chocolates. We're having pork. Which I know isn't the most traditional, but... And we're trying every trick in the book to get the crackling right. Yeah, we're going to try and get some really good crackling on it. We're copying off the Chinese. And we've got some apple sauce. So Cards Against Humanity, I think this is meant to be quite funny. I've actually never played it. After four platinum albums and three Grammys, it's time to get back to my roots. To what inspired me to make music in the first place. The homosexual agenda. Is that what it's like? Yeah, you've got a pick. Um, Let me try another one. Yeah. It's a pity that kids these days are all getting involved with my relationship status. You get, you get like a set of cards. Yeah, you get a lot of white cards to have to, yeah. to pick a good answer from. I'll just do one more. Oh God, I can't talk. There's quite a few about sex in here. Oh, yeah. What are my parents hiding from me? Pick a white one. Kissing Nan on the forehead and turning off her life support. <laughs> oh my god. So we'll have, to, we'll have to get that out next time that we're, when we eventually are allowed people over. In the meantime, I'm going to snack on some chocolates, help Tom out, do some washing so that we can tidy as we go, and wait for food. I'm zooming in in the hope that you can see this, but it's snowing. And look, we even have a holly bush in our garden. Oh my god, it's snowing and it's on Christmas Day. How festive is that? So we weren't planning on hosting this year or being at home this Christmas, but then since Boris's announcement of the restrictions... What are you doing? My god, you scared me. <laughs> You're right. Oh, it's the Christmas deliriousness coming through. So, and anyway, my point was is that this tablescape is by no means a perfection because I would have loved much more decoration and obviously crackers as well, which we don't even have. But I have got our festive Christmas candle burning. I thought I'd keep the wreath on because that's kind of a bit of a festive addition to the table. We've got this little bowl with some Bramley apple sauce, considering we're having pork and that there ready for our gravy. We've got some champagne flutes for um, a little bubbly each because you know it's Christmas. You've got to have a little bit of a tipple on Christmas day even though we don't really drink much or at least I don't. So you don't want red wine glass, you're just going to stick with some yeah. bubbles. Okay, Queen is about to start. What time will food be ready? Whoa, you are right. <laughs> Proper stretch my leg out of it. Um, <laughs> his slippers are proper slippy on this floor. Um, what time will food be ready? Queen's on at three. Probably another 25 30 minutes. Okay, good. So we can watch the Queen and then eat.
Every year, we herald the coming of Christmas by turning on the lights. And light does more than create a festive mood. Light brings hope. For Christians, Jesus is the light of the world. But we can't celebrate his birth today in quite the usual way. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, It's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you That's the face of a defeated man Ugh. Feet up, TV, we're actually watching the chicken run this was one of my all-time favorite films i feel like i've seen it a lot such a classic next up we have another christmas special oh that music we're gonna watch home alone 2 pretty much just lie on this sofa for the rest of this afternoon we do have for pudding just done a lot of the washing up, but we still have some left to do. We'll get to it, we'll get to it. It's in here. This is going to be our pudding, if we can manage it. Chocolate cake, because we're not a fan of traditional Christmas desserts. Anyone else? Christmas pudding, Christmas cake, mince pies. Don't really eat any of them. The only one I like is Yule Log. So we did get a chocolate cake that we're going to enjoy with some cream later and we've been facetiming family now it's time for home alone too need any presents as long as i spend this day with you mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe baby with you Ooh. making plans what we're gonna do i feel so blessed that i can be with you <laughs> yeah yeah Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a happy new year. We are gonna end off Christmas 2020 vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different this year. Obviously we have spent it just the two of us. Just the two of us. We've seen you. Oh, it's just been a weird one, hasn't it, for all of us, I think. We're just gonna, I think we might save the Christmas not Christmas cake, chocolate cake until tomorrow because, well, we need some Boxing Day snacks. We'll have the camembert tomorrow as well. Chilled, we, we've been on FaceTime with families. I think we're going to call back Tom's family and do a family game. And I was involved, like kind of sat on the sideline of my family, um, well, my mum and dad watching them do a game. I don't know. It's it's hard really because we, we're both a couple of hours drive. So... I was due to go and spend Christmas with my family as Tom was with his. When it was put to just like the one day, we decided to just spend our first Christmas together ever in our new house and we will catch up with family another time. FaceTime is something I am thankful for this year. What's one thing you're thankful for? Ukraine. Oh, that's nice. Good questions. Yeah, we're gonna just cozy up on this sofa, get comfy, finish watching Home Alone, finish eating chocolates, and just call it a night. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our Christmas 2020 vlog this year. And I am not sure if I'm gonna have a video for the rest of the year. I was thinking about doing a giveaway at some point soon, so if I do end up doing that as my next video or something, I don't know, just stay tuned, stay tuned. Thank you 
to all of you guys as well for all the love and support this year. It means the absolute world. Thank you so, so much. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys. Be seeing you. Bye, guys.